It's spiritus. Liquor from North Ambria. Said to be the strongest drink in the world. Guess it's kind of hard to get much stronger than 96% though, huh? <laughs> right? I knew you'd be able to appreciate it. Never thought the day'd come when I'd get to talk with you over drinks like this. That new Class 7 of yours? They're a good bunch of kids. They're all pretty unique kids, just like you guys were. But I know things will work out for you. I mean, come on. They were all so worried about you, they ran headlong after you. You already knew, didn't you? Who those purple Jaegers are. That's so. Guess I've still got a ways to go myself in that case. That's a nice little scenario, Reen. But you know it's a load of bull, don't you? The annexation of North Ambria was done under the Imperial government's orders. Way I hear it, General Le Guin agreed to take the place over to keep the provincial armies from being disbanded. The outcome was decided from the start. In the middle of that farce of a war, you managed to save the lives of tens of thousands of citizens. And the Jaegers you met today? I think they know that. But maybe it was impossible from the start. Fixing a country already being destroyed from within by Jaegers. You probably knew that too. Whoopsie. Well, you see, he was... <laughs> he was my first love. Well, actually, he was the closest thing I had to a dad. Way back during the Northambrian disaster, when the salt pail covered so much of the principality in a storm of salt, a man took in an orphaned infant. He was a former colonel in the army and one of the people who founded the Northern Jaegers. As soon as I was old enough to understand anything, I knew that Jaegers who came back with foreign currency were considered heroes. The man who raised me was one of the leaders of the Northern Jaegers, the heroes of our homeland. I looked up to my dad more than anyone. Wanting to be just like him, I joined a juvenile Jaeger Corps at the age of 10. After a few years of harsh training, I was admitted to the main corps at the tender age of 13. It was there that I experienced my first real battle. It was hell, a field of death, where lives are tossed aside to satisfy someone else's desires. There I lived, smoke and blood painted across my body. And there I stayed, eventually becoming the Jaeger known as the Purple Lightning. But after a while, it reached a point where I couldn't take it anymore. When I was 18, I was assigned command of a squad. We had a mission near Erebonia, fighting some proxy war on behalf of the nobles. The enemy was Needhog. My squad was destroying them but just when we thought victory was ours. Our efforts to avoid dragging any civilians into the fight left us open to a counterattack. We got hit hard. And then my dad showed up and saved me. Even though he was serving as the commander for the entire Corps, he came to our rescue and suffered a fatal injury for it. Do you see now? This is the fate of all Jaegers. You must think long and hard on whether you wish to continue down this path. It could have been because he was once part of the Principality's army, but he was quite the gentleman. Now that I think back, he never seemed to like the fact that I became a Jaeger. Anyway, he left me with those final words and passed away in my arms. I screamed and screamed until my voice gave out until I passed out from utter exhaustion. When I woke up, I was in an Imperial army camp.
Yeah. Apparently they were there to check on the damage caused by all the Jaegers fighting. Neidhardt and Mueller Vander, who were both second lieutenants back then, were there too. They told me the battle had been over for a while, and all my comrades had already packed up and left for home. Hadn't even thanked them before rushing back to my hometown. And what greeted me when I got there were celebrations and congratulations from my friends and the townsfolk. We had lost my father, but we won the war we were hired for. The nobles had given us an enormous pile of Mira. That meant we wouldn't die of starvation during the coming winter. I was relieved, but my tears just wouldn't stop. In order to save my hometown from poverty, I covered myself in the smoke of war and the blood of innocence in foreign lands. Seeing the smiles on the faces of everyone in town and knowing the cost cut me deep. It was right then that I decided to quit being a Jaeger and leave my hometown. I joined up with the Bracer Guild, knowing I could put my combat skills to work and make some decent Mira if I hit A rank. That way I could send some money back home. Money that wasn't stained with blood. <laughs> I'm not strong or kind, but I think I've finally started to get closer, little by little. Closer to being like the man I admired so much. My dad. My commander. And my first love. <laughs> yeah? No getting around the fact that I've got myself the daddy of all father complexes. But, you know, lately I've found myself attracted to some younger guys. You got me talking too much. You don't watch yourself. You could make a real dangerous womanizer. Well, with that, I bid you good night and sweet dreams. <laughs>